This will be the most beautiful Call of Duty game we've ever made. It will also be the most character-driven and emotionally engaging Call of Duty game we've ever made. And it will be the best Call of Duty game we've ever made. A stunning leap forward, not just for this franchise, but also for console gaming. To show you what I mean, we've put together a little comparison video that shows you what's possible on the next gen and puts side by side the differences between what we're going to be delivering in Call of Duty Ghosts and what was in uh, Infinity Ward's last game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which was state of the art just a very short time ago. And when you look at the differences side by side, it's actually pretty stunning. Let's take a look. This sequence shows one of Modern Warfare 3's main characters, Price. While this asset pushed the limits of what was capable at the time, the technology employed by the new engine allows us to take the visual fidelity of our models to a whole new level. This next generation head is modeled with multiple features represented, sub-D, high resolution textures, subsurface skin shaders, multiple lights, and self-casting shadows. Here, you can see the dog model from Modern Warfare 3. Our new dog model is taken from high resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team service dog. Every detail is replicated, right down to the scars on the nose and the tattoo inside the ear. When playing first person action games, your character's arms are one of the most looked at visual elements. The arms in MW3 were beautiful at the time, but the new engine allows for significantly increased texture resolution. This advancement in technology allows us to convey fine hairs, bruising, cuts, and even the dirt beneath the fingernails. Here's an example of a jungle environment from Modern Warfare 3. Now, here's a jungle environment from Ghosts. This scene employs many new tech features, including volumetric lighting, boosted poly count, and self-casting shadows. 